Alright guys, so all we have is our truck, our chainsaw, and this small plot of land behind us, which is number 30 here on the map. Pretty small. As for the settings, we have auto save at 15 minutes, time scale currently set at 0.5 just to get this little intro part done. But we're going to put that back to 5 times the normal speed. Then we have difficulty is hard for economic. Um, traffic is on, seasonal growth, one day per month, um, fixed visual months is off, snow is on, crop, destru crop destruction, periodic plowing, field stones, lime required, and weeds are all turned on, dirt is normal, automatic engine start off, stop and go braking off, trailer fill limit is on, so we can't overfill, fuel usage is high, and then AI workers, we have that all set to off. Basically, we're just going to get in here and chop down some trees for our first day, so... Let's get to going. I didn't really think about this too much. If I happen to chop down a tree that falls off our property, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. I have to make, hopefully make them all fall down into our property. Because that would be terrible. Chop them down, totally miss the property. So let's buck up this tree. We'll get to doing that to many more trees, but this is just the start. We have to cut these into chunks of about 200-ish kilograms. That one's 30, that's it? Okay, well. I suppose it's kind of got to fit in the truck anyways. here. 91. You can go a little bit longer than that. We want to try and get close to 200 if we can. 154. That might be a bit too long. 165. 173. Wait, how are we at negative eight dollars? Negative nine? Does our change side just have like a regular upkeep charge? Uh, one ninety-seven. So that one's about as big as we can get. All right, guys. There's our first load of logs. Well, let's get it sold. And we're not off to a very good start, are we? We rolled the truck, so I reset it, now we gotta reload it. Good times. So looking at the prices, the sawmill gives us 1,020, old sawmill 973, so we are at the sawmill. First load is worth, let's find out, 2,060, oh, 2,090. All right, sale number two. $2,206. I also forgot to mention, we're not going to be doing any contracts on this playthrough. So we won't be doing any money that way. We also won't be loaning any money. So it's strictly what we can do. The third truckload of logs is ready to be sold. Let's get to the lumber mill. All right, rolling in here with our third sale. Let's see what we got here. All right, around about 2,000, all three times now. So, looks like we're getting about 2,000 per truckload. 
And actually the last two I didn't even check the price. Let's see if it's still... Yes, the sawmill's giving us more than the old sawmill still by about 50 bucks. So, alright guys. So here is our chunk of land. All of the trees are taken down. It is now September. We still have a couple of scraps here. Just going to give you a quick little tour. Um, still got to clean up some of these. We got log here, but they do have a couple of big piles we got to go sell. Oh, look at this deer. There he is. But yeah, we deforested the entire area here. Um, our money's at 37,000. We have this big stack of logs. And then we got a little stack here, and then we kind of got a couple of chunks down here. But that is it. The rest of it is all mowed down. And one thing that I didn't want to do on here was sell our land after harvesting everything from it, just for the simple fact that it feels kind of cheap. So, it's going to take us a little bit longer to rank up on here, or, you know, uh, progress with the farm, but we're not going to sell this piece of land. So we have 37,000. If we pop open the map quick, we have a couple around here. This is 27, uh, 27,000, that is price. This one's 25, this one is 32. I think that's all of the cheaper ones around. Um, oh, well, that's quite large, actually. Um, but yeah, I think most of them are pretty big and expensive. The only other one that is fairly small is number 40 here. And I actually checked this out, and there's almost no trees on that, so that would be, you'd probably lose money on that one. So yeah, I'm thinking we might have to go with 33, 32, or 31. And maybe we even have to go with all of them at some point, because we'll buy this one, we'll spend all of our money to buy the land, we'll have like 10,000 left over. And then, after that, we can probably move up to, you know, something like this, maybe, how much is that, 92, or maybe, that's yeah, 93, there we go, 70, 95 is probably too expensive, 70, 78, 72, so yeah, we might go with like, uh, what is it, 11, 11, 10, 12, maybe, or something like that, move out there. And by that point, we should probably... I mean, this look how heavily wooded 11 is. 11 and 10 look really nice. This one looks a little bit spread out. I, I haven't been over that direction. But I think that's going to be the plan. We're going to buy 31 or 32 or 33. Actually, let's just, let's just solve this right now. Let's do 33. Um, so that's 32. We have 32,000. That's going to cost... Oh, no, we have 37. It's going to cost 32. So there we go. And uh, now we'll have to deforest this whole area. That should give us some more money. Hopefully enough to either buy 32 or 31, and then eventually move up onto 11, 10, 12. And, and once we start to get a good amount of money, we can actually start buying some more equipment. We don't have anything yet. We're still just loading this up with 200 kilo chunks and selling it as uh, often as possible. But yeah, we are into the next month here, so we'll see how much money we can end up making in this year. And we will continue on with the series. Originally, I didn't know if it would be possible to um, make enough money to, you know, move up, move up, move up. But I believe it will be. And eventually we can buy um, vehicles to replant some of this stuff that we're taking out of here. So we won't have to worry too much about um, keep buying more and more land, you know. But, yeah, I just feel like it, if I were to sell this right back off, it would just feel too cheap for me. So, um... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of keep whatever we end up getting. So it is now late September, and we have all of our wood cleaned up off of this claim. All the piles we had are now gone. We had a nice big pile of stuff here, all loaded up, brought to the lumber mill, and sold. And this is our last one here. We do have a couple of uh, uglier looking trees on here. So we have 34,000. We bought another claim for 32. So it looks like we ended up making about 70 grand off of a $10,000 claim. Keep in mind our lengths and stuff, like these bushes are all over the place. Or, I don't know, trees that are scraggly and stuff, but I didn't want to trim them down just because I figured it would uh, take off some of the weight. And let's sell that. 2900 So yeah, if we click on this claim, this one was worth 
$9,772. And now this one we bought is about triple the price, number 33 here. This one's 32000 So should probably pull close to $100,000 out of this one if we do triple our money just like we did on this one. It's now the middle of November and we're going to make our first sale in November. We are going to the Wood Turner. I thought there was only two spots, but I found out there's actually a couple more. So let's see what we can get for this. We do have a little bit of dead wood on here. Got a little of everything, it seems like. Four thousand six hundred for that. All right, so I think the first order of business here is to show you guys we are going to be buying a miscellaneous and trailer here. So we got this one, costs 8000 It's got a couple of different wheel setups. We'll just go with the standard here. And we'll buy this for $8,000. Up in here. This should allow us to carry some more wood. So we'll hook up to this. We should cut down on the trips or at least make them more profitable when we do make the trips. Possibly something we can use later for, I don't know, carrying around a skid steer or something. Alright, and now I'm going to explain our next steps here. So, we are going to be purchasing a small tractor in a little while. And we are going to be getting the, right here, the Farmall 1066 Hydro. It has 140 horsepower. And we need, if we go back to here, this is what we're going to be getting as well. Forestry equipment, we're going to need this trailer, the Anderson M160. We're also going to be getting this Damcon, it's a tree planter. And this requires 120 horsepower, so we'll have just a little bit more than that to plant trees. And then I think we're also going to be getting this as a winch, so we can winch the trees up to us, making that a little bit easier and then load them up into the trailer. So I think we'll get all three of those. And that's what, 21,000, 26, that's 20, 47, 48,000. Plus that's about another 20, call it 70. And then the tractor's 40, that's about $110,000. So our claim is actually just to the start right here. You can kind of see where all this tree trees are logged on this right hand side. That's where our property line ends. So we have a stack of logs here. Obviously we still got some more trees to take down. But if we keep driving down this road, we have a small pile started here with a couple of other trees to get rid of. Got a couple more trees off on the left to get rid of, plus a big pile of logs here on the right. And if we keep continuing on, this is where our, our old claim was, just off to the left here. Then we have Obviously we have to log all these trees out of here still. We have all of these logs here on the left. And then we also have another log pile just up around this corner, right there. So that's probably the biggest pile of them. But yeah, we have all of these logs still to uh, take down. So probably quite a bit of money still here to be made, plus all of the sales of these logs that we have to pick up that we did chop down and chop up. So we'll get back to work. Alright, so here we are to make our first sale with our new trailer. Got this thing fully loaded. Let's see how much we can get out of this. This is basically like two and a half trips. Alright, let's see if it sells at all. So about five grand for a part of the wood. And here's the second part. About four grand, so every trip should be around ten thousand dollars with this trailer. So we've made a little more progress with deforesting this area. We still have quite a lot of wood to take out of here. We still have uh, quite a few trees to take down as well. That right there behind us is where the property line ends, which is why there's a bunch of trees now. But look at this load of blocks. This. I mean, I'm actually pretty proud of this trailer. Look at how tightly packed this thing is. I didn't have to cut anything down, I just kind of really picked out my pieces. It's, it's, I mean, even all the way down to the very end here, let me pop out if I can show you. 
So we even shoved in little pieces, you can't really see it I guess, but there's three little chunks at the back to fill it in a little bit more. But it's basically filled out entirely, all the way front to back. Except for I guess a little bit right here, but um, yeah, it's pretty packed in there. Definitely could have put a little bit more on there, but really, really heavy load. This is the largest load of logs I've ever brought here. And the last one was 10,000. I feel like this has got to be like 12. It's it's super packed in there. Let's see what we get. 15,000. So yeah, we fit about an extra 50% taking up all the space possible. All right, so the plan now is to buy a tractor and trailer. So let's check. No, nothing for sale. Okay. So let's go buy small tractor and we're going with the farm all 1066 hydro I don't know if I should add front weights or not I feel like it would probably help but I think for now we'll just buy it we can probably add the weights later so let's do that for 40k And then let's grab a trailer for a 19,000. This one doesn't have any options, so we'll just buy that straight up. So now we can really start making some uh, progress here. We got our truck, and we got a new tractor. like ketchup and mustard. And then I was planning to buy one of these fields up over here. I think eventually we'll still do that, but um, I was told that there's a lot of sequoia trees. I did kind of take a look around. There was quite a few, but I think it's still for the price it's probably pretty, I mean, there's a lot of these ones, you know, if you look at number two, 250,000, look at number three, 205, 14, 185, 13, 110, um, 23, 229, 25, 380, or 48, 294. So a lot of these ones, 234, like the only really cheap ones are right here and then kind of up here. These ones aren't bad, 93, 79, 88, 104, and 74. So this whole right side is pretty good, I think, for price as far as uh, the amount of area you get. But some of these ones, like 92, that one's probably decent as well. This one, 215. You know, we can't we can't afford a lot of those. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy these two. That'll give me some more time, or at least one of them, some more time to think about where we want to go next, but I, I think this would probably be the ideal spot to start the whole logging operation as far as like replanting and stuff. I don't know, I'll have to do some more exploring. Field 42 is very flat. That might be a good spot to plant some trees if we do end up buying that. How much is that one? 36,000. So that might be uh, another option. But I think for now, just to make sure, let's buy maybe number 32 here so 25,000 more will be down to 23,000 there we go but now we have th this whole area is almost deforested there's probably 20 trees left and then I still got to pick up all my piles of wood um, I did deliver one whole pile and then parts of another pile pretty much two full piles so yeah we'll be on to this one and uh yeah, if we need to, we can buy this one. And then I think we'll probably work on some of this side over here. Eventually, obviously, we want to get set up and have a whole logging operation. But I think that's a little ways down the road, so. All right, guys, so as you can see, it is officially winter. So it is now actually into January. We completely skipped December. That Komatsu is out here from Lumber mill. We actually had to run over there because we flipped our truck. So I've been doing parts of this on live stream to make the progress, but just 
speed up this video. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, Farmall. You're almost there. We definitely have to get some weights or lighten up the load a little bit here. That is one of the things that we want to add. I did not get weights when I purchased this, and we definitely need to have some weight. Oh no, we're sliding backwards in the winter here. All right, so I have a plan. So we're gonna try and reset. And we're gonna tab till we get there, okay. We're going to add weights right now, see if this helps. It should help at least a little bit. Let's get in here. Uh, customize. So we can get 100 kilos, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Okay, 600 for $900. Let's do that. So here is our second claim here. All of this right side of the hill has now been cut down. You can still see there's some logs here and there. A couple of them here. Up on the hillside up there. We tried to pile up some of the uh, harder to clean up trees over here. And then most of it I got down into a pile here. Alright, hopefully this helps. Go. Let's see if we can make it up the hill here. Oh, we are slipping again. I think we're gonna have to go down. We're gonna have to sell at a different cell point. Or at least get there in a different way, one of the two. So we have found a path that will work to get there. Just hopefully there's no trains coming. So here's the cell point just up here. Whoa. A little bit of a spin out there. Try to keep one tire on the track so we have some kind of traction. But after this sale, we're going to make a few more purchases. Which is going to be the planter. Another property because we're going to start planting. The reason we're going to start planting is we, we got to look up the long game. We're going to chop down a bunch of trees. We're going to have to start planting some trees to make up for it so we don't have to keep buying a bunch of land. Otherwise, we're never going to get anywhere. Although, actually, buying the planter and trees are kind of expensive. Oh, spin out again. train is coming the other way. Okay, we're good. Whoa. Alright, this is not good. Let's try and get up here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, 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 not perfect. Not perfect. Hang on. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.